This video is a part of the series where we make every single part of the character from the body all the way to the clothes. Now we are at the shoes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to model these boots all in Blender. Then in the next video, we're going to texture it and give it a material. But before we start, as always, make sure to check out my Gumroad and Patreon page to download all the 3D files and real-time process video of making these shoes and lots of other characters from the channel. Link is in the description. Let's do it. Firstly, drag out a new window and put it on UV Editor. Open up your reference image. You can also use third-party reference apps like Pure Ref if you're fancy or Quadro if you're poor. Starting with the default cube, don't delete it please. Instead, select it and press tab to go to edit mode. Squeeze it a bit and from the side view, try to shape it like a shoe. Just select the face and extrude where you want to bend it. We're not copying the exact model. We're trying to get something similar. Then extrude the top two times. Now we got two ways to approach heels. Extrude in the bottom in the same mesh so it's connected to the shoe or model it separately from the shoe. I'm gonna show you both ways in this video. For this type of shoes, first way might be better. So let's extrude to the bottom and scale it down. Extrude and scale down again. Ctrl R on the heels to add a loop cut close to the top. Then outside of the edit mode, you can press Ctrl 1 to subdivide. That way we can see how it looks after subdivision whenever we exit the edit mode. It's way too round so we can go to edit mode and press Ctrl R to add loop cuts close to the edges to sharpen the edge. Another one in the bottom of the heels to make this edge sharper as well. We can select the bottom faces to make them bigger. Also add one more so the top side is more pronounced. Add another one to the front and one to the side. Now try to push the borders to the inside a bit. Proportions are a bit off, so let's go to the side, shift A and in the image, click on reference. Now, we need a good reference image taken from the side angle. You can find it on Google or Pinterest and download it. Locate your reference image and bring it over. Rotate and scale the image until it fits with our object. Go to sculpt mode, pick up grab brush and start shaping the mesh to fit with the shape of the shoe in the image. Now, if we want to make something similar to the image on the left, we can go to edit mode, hold alt and click on the edge on the bottom to select that row of faces, then hold click on extrude region then select extrude along normals drag this yellow thing up or down to extrude this part along the normals now if we want to make the second type of heels we gotta remove the bottom in the edit mode we can select the raw faces in the bottom, shift D to duplicate and escape to place it back. Then PN selection to separate it from the main mesh. Now in the edge select mode, select the bottom edges and press E to extrude to the bottom. We add a solidify modifier to make it thicker. Make sure you drag the solidify modifier on the top of the subdivision. In the edit mode, select the edges in the back. Then you can click on one and hold shift control and click on one on the other side to select anything in between. Press E to extrude and while it's selected, press S and press zero to flatten out the the edges in one line. Extrude again until we get close to the ground. Then extrude one more time to the ground. Now to fill out the bottom of the shoe, hold alt and click on the edges to select them. Hold ctrl and deselect the two in the front. Now we can right click and breach edge loops. Ctrl r on the middle faces to create more faces. In the vertex mode, select these two vertices at the end, press m and merge them. Then to make the bottom sharper, press ctrl r and bring the edge down around the edges to make them sharper. Now to make the shoe easier to work with, we have to add more topology. To do that, select in the shoe, let's bring the subdivision to 1 and while the mouse is on the modifier, press Ctrl A to apply it. Now if you go to edit mode, you see we got some really nice topology all around. If you filled out the top, remove the faces and select the outer edges, then press E to extrude to the bottom. To create the outer layer, we can select the shoe and in the edit mode, select the faces around these areas. Shift D to duplicate, escape to place it back, and press P in selection to separate it from the main mesh. Give it a mirror modifier so we have it on the other side too. In the sculpt mode, pick up grab brush and drag it out of the shoe. Add a solidify modifier and bring it on top of the other modifiers. For the holes for the shoelaces, we're not gonna actually make a hole. Instead, let's add a torus. Smooth it out and place it on the boots. For the easier placement, we can enable a snap tool so the object sticks to the faces of the shoe. This way we don't need to manually adjust the position. You can change the thickness of it just by going to the edit mode, selecting all and pressing alt s, then you can scale it up or down to adjust the thickness. Once you are happy with the scale of it, we can shift D to duplicate and place it on the top of this 
this one. Then continue adding more one by one, placing it on the right spots. Now select all of them, shift D to duplicate, Ctrl M to mirror, and press X to mirror it on the X axis. We now have the base model ready. We can now hold Ctrl Tab and go to Sculpt Mode. Pick up Draw Brush and make the outer parts bulkier. Then as you can see in the reference image, we got some folds around the parts that are most likely bent during the day. So give it a multi-res modifier and subdivide few times so we can start sculpting. Sculpt those folds using draw brush. And for the parts that has more depth, we can hold control to reverse the brush. Now let's sculpt the stitch lines. We can press Shift C to switch to crease brush. In the stroke menu, you can enable stabilize the stroke. Then we can start creating these lines around the shoe to whatever shape you want. For the start, I'm gonna sculpt one in the back. Then another one from this way all the way to the top. Having a drawing tablet would really help in these kind of situations, but you can still get good results with the mouse. The design is really up to you. It's time to add some irregularities to make the letter look more believable. So let's pick up inflate brush and sculpt some ups and downs. Don't worry about the holes, we'll fix it later. I wasn't happy with the design, so I subdivided it one more time so we get more topology around these parts. Then I started creating the stitch lines again. One technique I always use is that after I add the stitch lines, I use the same crease brush but a bit larger, then hold Ctrl and draw on the same line I just sculpted. This way the edges get sharper and whole thing gets more pronounced. I disabled the stabilizer stroke because I'm comfortable with the tablet, but I highly recommend using it if you're using a mouse. Now select the main boots again and using draw or inflate brush, hold click and start adding those irregularities here as well. Add it up until this point because only this part is affected by the bending and the stretching caused by the tight shoelaces. There are a bunch of ways to make shoelaces. For this one, I'm just gonna add a plane, scale it down and place it in the bottom. While the snapping is enabled, I adjust the points. Extrude it to the side until it reaches the other hole. Now disable the snapping. Select the edge on the side and extrude it forward so it passes through the hole. Then extrude it again and reach the second hole on the other side. Do the same thing for the other one on the other side. Notice these faces don't have the bluish color. That means their normals are backwards. So in the face select mode, select these faces. You can press Alt N or go to Mesh, Normals and Flip. Add a solidify modifier to give it some thickness. Now in the edit mode or sculpt mode, using a grab brush, try to fit it with the hole. So it just looks like it goes through the hole. Move your mouse on top of the shoe and press Alt Q so we can switch to this mesh. Now using a grab brush, push these parts to the inside because obviously the parts that are pulled by the laces should be more tied up. From here it gets easier. Just select the shoelace, duplicate and place it on the next holes. Now we just have to align the laces with the new holes. Then switch to the boots again and do the same thing to the edges. Just push those parts behind the laces. In the edit mode, select the bottom part of the laces and delete it because we don't have that anymore. The process should be pretty clear by now. Now for the last one, it's a bit more complex because we're gonna tie a knot. Select one of the laces, select the faces of only one part of it, duplicate and bring it to the top. Delete the half and get another duplicate for the other side and bend it this way. Then bring another one, rotate it this way and try to bend it like this to make it look more like a knot. It might get a bit confusing. If it's too hard, just look at your own shoes for the reference. For the end of it, extrude again and scale it down to a small face. Then extrude again like this to make those hold their thingies. Do the same thing to the other side of the shoelace too. And here we have our shoelaces. I probably tied it wrong, but who cares, it looks okay. There are some adjustments to be done to the heels, like adding another loop cut in the bottom to push it back a bit. Also wanted to make the heels a bit shorter, so I drag down heels with grab brush, then switch to shoes and drag it to the bottom to fill out the empty spot. Now obviously left and right shoes are built differently than each other, so we need to fix the shape so it only fits one foot. To do that, in the left window, let's bring a reference from the bottom angle. It doesn't matter if it's right or left foot, we just need to study the shape. Then go to the bottom view and start shaping it close to the shoe. Turn off X mirror so we can shape it towards any direction. 
to achieve even more realism, we can pick up draw brush and add some volume outside of the shoelaces in order to make the shoe look more tight due to the shoelaces. I forgot to add a stitch line close to the edges as well. This also helps make it look more realistic and detailed. Front of the boots is still too long, so let's go to the sculpt mode and drag it to the back a bit. Then do the same thing to the heels mesh too. And this is the final model. We're gonna add the stitch lines and fully texture it in the next video. So be sure to subscribe so you won't miss it. And also check out my Gumroad and Patreon page to download the 3D files and full real-time process video of making this and lots of other characters from the channel. See you on the next one. Peace.